Hey guys, it is the time for the final review of the 1915 wash beam moving heads. And I just want to say thank you to Sheds for sending these over so that I could review them for you guys. All right, guys. So if you guys are wanting to use these on totems, I have two of the Rockfell uh, collapsible totems with white scrims on them. You could also get these with black scrims, or they come with a black scrim. But uh, they do stay a lot on the ceiling. So if you want to use these for maybe a ceiling wash, I mean, if you program them with um, DMX, they would obviously do what you want them to do. I mean, there they're kind of shining out. So they look pretty good that way. Uh, they do not have Master Slave. From what I can tell, they will not master slave together. I have set that as the master, set that for DMX channel address one. They will not, they, they do not have master slave. Uh, if I said that in the previous video, well, I'm sorry, they don't. But, um, so, I think they look okay on top of a uh, totem. I mean, I've seen people use wash, but if you're gonna program this to be on the dance floor through a controller, uh, that would probably work. I mean, as you can see, it's doing all kinds of stuff. I mean, they would be okay, I guess, for a wash because it does light up the room quite a bit. And they do do their beam and spot, their beam and flood. One's in beam, one's in flood right now. But, uh, they don't look too bad. They don't look too bad at all. So here we're going to give you guys a close-up of the lights in action. And the menu and the way the product is built is very hard. I mean, it seems like it's very durable. Uh, it definitely can take, you know, rough environments and stuff like that. It, I mean, the, it's hard plastic, hard uh, ABS, I guess you would say. The screen, the buttons, everything seems like it's not cheaply made, like it's got a cover over the screen, as you can see there. The buttons, the uh, they they don't feel like they're going to fall out. They don't feel like that they're, you know, when you push them the first time, they work every time. The handles on the side are detachable. The power con in, the power con out, the DMX, the on and off switch on the back, which I really like. That way, if you have power going to it and you don't want the unit on, you can shut the unit off. I am going to be learning how to do DMX to put DMX shows together, so... I haven't really learned how to do that, but I've got a guy that's going to teach me. So in the future videos, hopefully first of next year, we will be showing some of this stuff with some uh, programming set up. Uh, so anyway, I really like the build. I think it is very uh, unique way of building the covers. It comes apart real easy. If you ever have problems, there's a bunch of screws around the outside of the arms that hold the head. And you can take those apart. There's belts in there if the belts happen to break. And I'm sure shed cell replacements. Uh, belts. Uh, again, thank you Sheds for sending this over. I really enjoyed doing the product for it. I think it was very awesome. They are very, very bright. We did use them in a uh, gig that I did last uh, week. And uh, here's a little clip of those working at the gig uh, together side by side. As you can see, those wash lights do look really good with other lighting. So if you want to mix them in with other lighting, they do look really good. Uh, like I said, it does have PowerCon in and out. So I do have that daisy chained from PowerCon. Uh, note to self, the blue PowerCon, if you have another PowerCon that's blue to blue, they won't fit because the way the, I mean, all the extension cables mostly are the same. As you can tell, the little adapter for here is on this side. And for the power supply, if I can get this one to come off, there we go, it goes this way. So the uh, uh, deals on the plugs are different for the in and the outs. But I think whenever you get a day, uh, extension cable, power con to power con, one is technically female, one is male, and the outside is white and the in is blue. So it's easier to figure out that way. Again, very nice lighting from Sheds. That's how you pronounce their name. I did finally get there. Uh, basically, it's like an outdoor shed or sheds. It just 
is pronounced differently. So if you're wondering how you pronounce their deal, it's Sheds. We do have two, and you're probably wondering, you only had one last video. Yeah, well, I kind of checked out their website and I ordered another one. Um, so y'all people had been asking, you know, you didn't really trust their website and was wondering how their website. Uh, some of their products are in the United States. This actually shipped out of New Jersey. Uh, it doesn't show on their map that they have a warehouse in New Jersey, but apparently they do. Um, this shipped out from New Jersey, uh, FedEx. It actually asked you on there to ship UPS is what I selected, but apparently shipped out UP, uh, FedEx. So, and it was here in about two, three days. So, uh, if it says on the website that you can have it shipped directly from the United States, you'll get it faster. Three to 15 days normally is the expected delivery date. If it comes out of California, you're at least looking at probably seven, maybe five days, depending on with the way the world is right now, the, the shipping might be a little slower. But like I said, we got two of them now. Uh, I want to thank Sheds for, again, having me um, check out their product. I really think it's a very good product. Uh, these here also, and I've got to figure out how to do it, is you can control the outside and the inside and this one. You can control each. And I don't know if my analog controller will allow me to do that. I've still got some playing around to do with these still and see if I can figure it out. But if you just want the outside ring to be on or this ring to be on, you can control each individually. You don't have to have the entire light on. So that's cool. And if you want to see more Sheds products, I've got another one coming uh, sometime in November, should have it late November, uh, early December. So we will have a product review, another moving head. It's a Gobo moving head, so stay tuned for that. Very excited to um, show that one off. And who knows what else we'll be showing off from them. But anyway, just wanted to throw this little video out. I know it's been kind of uh, a lot of DJ equipment on the channel lately, but that's what I've been getting to review. And I appreciate Sheds and all the other companies sending me stuff. I want to thank all my new subscribers for joining the channel. Uh, don't forget to like the videos. Liking the videos definitely helps the channel more than anything. So the beam wash lights from Sheds are definitely worth the money. Go check them out. Link is always in the description. Go check them out. I definitely think you won't be disappointed. They are very awesome lights. So go get you one now. And don't forget to go join the Nathan 343 crew because you don't want to miss what's getting ready to happen in December. Lots of awesome stuff. New vlog. So stay tuned and get joined up.